Radio. And welcome to another episode of Rage Fashion. Now today, well, I wish I was bringing to you these hot, juicy men, but we're not. We are going to test out these new shoes. Now they are actually from Naturalizer, and we'll learn more about them later in the show. Hi, so I'm actually here in Marina Square and we have just seen the opening of Naturalizer which is a brand that has been going on for what, 75 years you were telling me Tim? Yes, it's been brand in the USA for 75 years and it's a brand that Brown Shoe um, in St. Louis is extremely proud of. So it's straight from San Luis to Singapore and of course the man who brought it in sitting right next to me. Uh, why did you choose to bring in a female shoe brand at this time and in this uh, current economic situation? Well we planned this a few years ago. Uh, I do believe in what they have to offer. Um, as I said, they're successful in the US not because of luck but because of good substance and with 75 years history it's a good brand and we would like to invest for long term which I think the ladies in the region deserve to have good shoes at the right price and good design. Especially since Singaporeans are supposedly the fastest walkers in the world. So, uh, what kind of age group were you guys targeting at when you came into Singapore though? I think the, the shoes are really targeted to a very broad age group and they can be a very appealing to somebody who's starting their career in their 20s um, right the way through to you know their 50s and, and 60s. Do you think it'll take off with the younger generation as well? It would. We noticed that the design they've got so far for the last two seasons, they're getting very fashionable. On top and beyond, we have added a lot of technology. N5 is one that we are very proud of. Yeah, I think a lot of work goes into developing the shoes, whether it be the flexibility of the outsole, whether it be the comfort and padding on the insole, the breathable linings, the leather um, constructions. So, you know, combining that with um, very fashionable design is, uh, is a very compelling proposition. It's all for women. When are we going to get stuff for men? Oh, that's a question that Tim can only answer. <laughs> I, I'm going to go back and start working on it immediately. Well, we've noticed as well that the heel heights, like you said, are designed more for comfort. So how would you feel if I told you, okay, I will take a pair out for the test, you know, to see how long I can last dancing in them. Do you think Naturalizer will live up? Absolutely, no doubt whatsoever. So we now you're going to put this to the test? I will try for sure. I will see. I don't know if my knees will be able to take it, but... <laughs> But you know? You'll have the right shoes to help your knees, I assure you of that. Okay, and now, so, thank you so much for your time today. Pleasure meeting you, and I hope your naturalizer shoes will live up to our expectations. I hope so too. Is there something that really is comfortable for women? Well, we are here to find out. Now, these are five elements that they claim to have. First, insoles designed for ultimate flexibility. Now, these are trendy and fashionable and they're pretty damn comfortable too now they have a heel but it's okay it's low enough to be like a whole day shoe and you can party in it oh wow okay it's like super flexible even though it's a heel look at that okay look can you do that in your normal heel <laughs> what okay I look like super greedy right now trying all the different shoes but it's for good reason. It's to make sure that you guys get the most comfortable shoes out there. It's all for you. Hmm, featherweight outsoles lighten every step. Now the shoes are quite light. Like this like the sporty, you know, like if you want a walking shoe. Wow. It's like this one's super comfortable. It feels like a glove when you go in. Okay, your, your um, feet, right, when you're in this, it literally feels like you're on a cloud. <laughs> really? Like, floaty. Okay, Pedro, you have to try this later. <laughs> really? Like, 
a bit conservative pattern, but it's so comfortable. Balance, ergonomic heel and toe shapes for stability. Now these are the colours for the season, look at it. You know the metallic and then the pattern. And instead of like the typical toe, they have slightly more squarish toes. And they also have a pretty cool heel, stack, which tapers down to a slim heel. A lot of girls are always looking for the perfect pump, right? So, we thought we'd try some pumps out. Yay. Wow. Okay. Let me try. You know what I like about this one? Okay, do you know anything that you have uh, for a perfect pump? The thing that you have to note is whether or not you have nice toe cleavage. You see? It's <laughs> like, yeah, that's the way you make sure your shoes are sexy. Move softly. Ding 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 ding. Extra cushioning underfoot softens impact. Everybody always likes ballerinas, right? Oh my gosh! Inside the cushioning is like, no, they put like matcha a whole pillow inside. I'm serious. That's like a whole pillow inside in the front. It's like toying. And then the last one is breathe easy. You know why? So that you won't get xiang kang jiao. Do you think I can party in this pillow? No. <laughs> party in this. So loose. Okay, like this one a bit loose. Nice. Apparently, we have like wider feet. We must not get distracted. We have our mission, which is to find a party shoe, and so I chose two, which I think I will put to the test. And I'm not sure which color I should get. It's like either gold or the black. Which do you think I should get? Don't know? Okay, so we will try them out and these will go through the whole day with me and night and we'll see if it lives up to the test. Jing jing jing! Then I made my way to the kitchen But I had to stop from the shock of what I found the room full of all of my friends Hi, can I ask you girl? Yes, well, we have the a long time. They had a really good time. Wait. What? Hey. What? You need help? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'm on the trip. Yeah. And we've just finally finished watching the whole show. And this is the first stop for today. We're going to other places for Valentine's Day. But it was a hat. So we'll see you later. Okay, so we've already survived half the night with these shoes. And uh, I wonder how they're going to like put up. It's actually getting slightly looser already. But um, yeah, maybe the people at the shop were right. I should have gotten a size tighter. But so far... Ding, 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 ding. I'm still standing and still feels comfortable. So maybe it might be the most comfortable shoes. Who knows? Let's wait till we finish the night. And then we'll see if my feet are ravaged. Hey, I put some new shoes on and suddenly everything is right. I said, hey, I put some new shoes on and everybody's smiling and it's so inviting. Half the night's already gone and now we're at place number two. Uh, my shoes are still holding me up. 
so that's going fine. Uh, and as you can see, you know, I don't know if you can see behind, but there are couples strolling here and there. What do singletons like me have to do? We have to go check out the party scene, of course. Hello everybody! Now I have already partied the whole night in these shoes and thankfully my feet are still alive! Painful by life. Now I'm still in my party shoes and I'm still going to party with my people. So I say BASS! And uh, this is the end of my Valentine's night working with you guys. I'm here at White Rabbit and I'm going inside to meet the rest of my single friends to party. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs>